Hey YouTube, what's up? It's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the color of your slide to unlock text on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So basically, the slide to unlock text is right here. It doesn't necessarily have to say slide to unlock, uh, as I've proved here. I can say crank it up, and if you want to know how to do that, change the actual text. Uh, I'll put a link in the description on my other video on how to change the actual text. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm going to show you how to change the color of it. Usually it's a gray. I have changed it to like a red, white, and blue kind of thing, if you guys can see that. And the same will work for the power down text uh, when you hold down the power button. Alright? So the only things you will need on your iPod Touch are, one, the knowledge on how to SSH. Uh, go check out my channel over there, click on my picture, and uh, search SSH and look for that video. Good video on how to learn how to SSH. And once you know how to SSH, you want to get Winterboard from Cydia. Most of my uh, users or watchers uh, that have uh, had some experience in the iPod Touch and iPhone game would know that Winterboard is a great theme manager. Um, so go get that from City if you don't already have it. Uh, it's Winterboard, all one word. All right. So once you have SSH and Winterboard, we can go on to our computer. And the one thing we will need on our computer is the software called GIMP. Now GIMP is an excellent software for image manipulation. Um, or picture editing, and a, uh, and a better way to say it. Uh, so, basically, you want to get GIMP. I'll put a link in the description on where to download GIMP. It's a great software. So right now I'm going to open it up right here. Once you have it installed, you want to open it up too. And we want to click File in the top left and click new and in the width and height we want to make the width 100 100 and we want to make the height 28 so 100 by 28 pixels is the size click OK and we want to zoom in a little bit so down here uh, where it says 100% I'd make that around 400% and now you can see it nice and big so now we want to change uh, we want to say what colors we want our text to be like I said before, or actually I didn't say it, uh, it can be either one color or uh, more than one color. So, all you want to do is in the box that's next to GIMP that says Toolbox, on the top color, we want to click on it, it'll be automatically set to black, it's called the foreground color, and we want to choose what color we want it. Now, I'll demonstrate now, but if we want one color, we're going to pick that one color that we want. Say I want it green, and I want it somewhere like, kind of near the light green, maybe in the middle click OK. All I want to do is make sure it's on the paintbrush tool, which it automatically is in the beginning, and color in the whole box. And that's all we got to do. Now, if we uh, were to use this picture that I have right here, then it would, uh, the slide to unlock text would just appear in the green color. However, we can have more than one color appear. So say I want it to be green, red, and black. So what I want to do is keep the first part of this green, Go back into the toolbox, click over here, and I can click red. You can uh, experiment around with a little bit of this if you're uh, kind of new to GIMP and the f photo editing softwares. But click on the color you want, red, and click OK. And still in the paintbrush select tool, we'll color in like another third of this. That may have been a little too much, but we can change that later. And uh, say we want the third color to be black, like I said. So go back onto the foreground color, pick black, click OK and color in the last part. We'll color a little bit over red since it may have been a little bit too much red. And there. So, that's what I chose. You can do whatever you want, whatever suits you. One color, three colors, two colors, four colors. Uh, just make sure to fill uh, everything up in this box. You can make it like a jumble of colors, of rainbow colors, all seven. You can do whatever you want, guys. This is up to you um, to customize your iPod or iPhone's uh, slider text, alright? So once you've gotten the color choice that you want of this little box and you've colored it in accordingly, like I have here, what we want to do is file in the top left and click save as. And in the name, this is what we want to name it. Bottom bar lock text mask dot png. Alright? So bottom bar lock text max mask dot png. That'll be in the description, guys, if you can't remember that. And uh, we want to just save it anywhere, I guess. We can save it to the desktop. That would be the best place. And you just want to click Save. Click Save again. And that's it, guys. We can exit out of GIMP now. Completely click on the X button twice. 
And now we have the bottom bar lock textmax.png. Now comes the part where we need to create the directory where we need to put this. So on our desktop, where we have the uh, picture, we're going to right click on the desktop, click new, and click folder. We can name this folder whatever we want. I'm going to name it uh, slider color. Then inside there, when we open up that folder, we want to create another folder. This one's going to be called bundles, capital B, lowercase u, lowercase l, lowercase d, lowercase l, lowercase e, lowercase s, bundles with capital B. Then again, we're going to go inside there, create another folder, and we're going to name this one com.apple.telephony, capitals U and I, all right? com.apple.t, telephony, capital UI, all right? All of this will be found in the description to your right, so if I was going a little fast, you can always slow the video down and look at the description. And now, once we've created this folder with the com.apple.telephony UI, we're going to go inside there, and we're going to drag and drop the picture that we saved from GIMP into right here, the com.apple.telephony UI folder. Once it's in there, we're all set. We can close out of this, and we're going to open up our SSH client. So I will just quickly enable SSH. All right, and now we can log in. And we're logged into our SSH client. Like I said, you needed to be able to do before. So from the home screen, we're going to go up once, slug, uh, go down to stash. Then we're going to drag and drop slider color into the themes folder over here that says themes dot uh, those random six letters drag and drop into there click copy and that's all there is to it guys close out of WinSCP and now we can go on to our iPod touch no need to respring another thing we're just gonna go in straight into Winterboard and once we're in Winterboard we wanna check off slider color this one that at the top newest one click the home button and now we're going to wait for our iPod Touch to respring, or our iPhone, of course. And we said we'll unlock this before. All right. And now, if we slide to unlock, we see it is black, red, and green. Black might not always be the best choice because it might not, it might not uh, uh, distort the text. But as you guys can see, it is green, red, and black. Alright, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. The yellow button up there helps me a lot. Go down below and rate this video 5 stars and favorite it. Comment down below on how you like this video and how you like the picture in picture. And I'd be glad to hear from you guys. Make sure to check out my channel and my upcoming videos. Alright guys, peace out. Make sure to go uh, check out my Facebook, uh, my Facebook fan page. Uh, become a fan there. It's a great place to post your questions so I can comment on them. Other people can comment, and it's a great way for you to get help. And follow me on Twitter. And please go sign up, uh, go subscribe to my new uh, tech channel uh, review, tech help review channel. Uh, that will be in the description as well. Alright, guys, I'll see you guys later. One last thing before I leave, guys uh, go check out Dr. Jailbreak. Uh, click on the name you see right now. Uh, go check his channel out. He makes really cool videos uh, for the iPod Touch and iPhone. He's really upcoming. Uh, he could be the next big thing, so uh, go check him out. Uh, he makes really cool videos, and he helped me out recently. So, yeah, go check him out, and peace out, guys. I'll see you guys later.